totally bought into that last guy. I thought that was it, you know? I'm such a mum. Did you see the posters in that place? Dear. Well, we're just gonna have to keep trying, won't we? Yeah. You know, I can't actually remember the last time I went to the pub. Piss off. Don't believe you. You're like the kind of guy who was born in a pub. But you grew up playing the fruit machines, blindfolded, whilst eating pork scratchings, downing warm ale. <laughs> Maybe when I was younger. Unfortunately, not really the best environment for an eight-year-old, is it? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Can I ask you something? Of course. I mean, not that this is any of my business or anything, but... Here's Molly's mum. You never mentioned her. I'll have to get a few more beers down me before we go into all of that. <laughs> OK. Hey, look. I've got a piano here. You play? Mate, do I play? OK. I'll continue playing this. You just join in when you want. What is it? I don't know. Just making it up as I go along. Come on, you play the top line, man. Just, just make something up. Yeah, well, I hope we're not pissing everyone off in here. No, no, that's why it's here. Come on. Come on, you got an audience now. Just, just play something. Fine, okay. I'm a little bit rusty, but I'll give it a go. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Awesome. You're great at the piano, mate. Absolute legend. Looks like this one's for you. Cheers. Oh, crap. Come over to my place a moment, yeah? Everything okay? Yeah, yeah, sure. We should just uh, just check and see if any of your posters got delivered by mistake. What's this? A bank statement. I'm cleaned out. How am I going to pay for this place without any cash? Without a job? Maybe it's not so bad. Maybe there's something we can do. How much is rent on this place anyway? Two thousand a month. Could crowdsource it, I suppose. Jesus. For this one bed place? Well, I guess there's only one thing for it. How long are these boxes gonna be here? Until I can afford to put them in storage. That's alright, innit? Can I look for your stuff? No. We need to get real. We've got no money coming in. One of us needs to get a job. Yeah, no offence, but I'm never gonna get another games job if I have to use your CV. 
25 years working in the same office. Who'd hire me? Why don't you get your old job back, Dad? Yeah. Shazzy was saying, I haven't found anyone to cover your casework. Well, there is actually an opening, but it's for a senior position. I can't just waltz in there with Jack's CV and expect a job. I bet we can blag it. Come on, I'll write the cover letter. You know, biggie up a bit. You're going to have to sort your look out, Dad. No one's going to hire you if you dress like that. Money's right. Got to get you spruced up and all dapper. 90% of acing and interviews all about wearing a sharp suit. Shit. <sighs> ah, it's all right. The next station is Salt Cellar Lane. Previously on Last Stop. I want to give Amy another shot. We're going to do another round of interviews. Just the two of you. Well, I've never been so embarrassed. Is this where I can expect the big lecture on why I'm such a bad parent? You're not a bad parent, Mina. You just feel like you'd rather be somewhere else. I can't do this again. I'm married. It's not right. So is that it? That's it. Miss Hughes, we've been over the data gathered from our previous examination and we've called you back in as we want a little more clarity on a certain issue. It's important that you answer honestly as we need to calibrate our expectations on this matter. I don't keep secrets from her. She's a grown-up girl. I like your wedding ring, by the way. No, please! Miss Hughes? Uh, sorry? Well, does it? Sorry, can you repeat the question, please? That's okay. I think we have what we need. I can answer another one. Have a good day. Hughes, join us. Mina, you've just had your second exam. How'd it go? Fine. I was just telling Amy how impressed I was with her results. Seriously stellar work. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. I'll be looking forward to reviewing yours, too. Uh... That's me. I gotta run. Amy. Hughes. Best of luck, Mina. I can't believe I'm up against a legend like you. Now cut the crap. If you want this, then don't try and be my friend. We're enemies in this. Act like one. Okay. I'm playing this like I've got nothing to lose. So back. Off. weren't doing this anymore. I need to talk to you. The other day I got left a note on my front doorstep. A threatening note. Someone knows about us and is trying to use it against me. Someone's blackmailing you. 
So that's why you ended this? I told you not to tell Wendy about us. <laughs> Are you kidding me? My daughter isn't a blackmailer. Oh, come on. It's obviously her. She hates me. I'd probably do something like this at her age. Look, let me just have a chat with her. To straighten this out. <sighs> well, there's no way I'm letting you accuse her of something like that. I think you should leave. Just tell me where I can find her. We'll have a friendly chat and that'll be the end of it. Can you hear yourself? I'm done with this. Stay away from my daughter, okay? said you're going to be home at seven. Not even a text. This isn't good, Mina. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know how many times I can keep putting up with the same excuses. It's, it's, it's boring. You're right. It is. It's like you don't care. Look, I'm sorry. I'll do better next time. How many times have I heard that? I mean, seriously, it's, it's like I'm getting mugged off here. It's every single night now. A thousand apologies. Your dinner's in the oven. It'll be cold by now. It's okay, you have it. I'm not hungry. Oh, fine. Well, I won't bother cooking for you next time in that case. Sounds good to me. Oh, you can piss off. Wanker! What the hell is wrong with you? Square. Previously on Last Stop. Mum's not well. She's been having some tests and they've not come back great. We need to sort out what we're doing here long term. What if we let you go? Right now, I'm happy where I am. Why do you care about Becky asking me out? Is that why you're upset? Just give me a hug, yeah? Will you stay with me tonight? Hey, haven't seen you in a while. Could we talk? I wanted to catch you and Viv while we're all together. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Oh yeah, how was Moise's party? It was okay. Got a bit druggy in the end. I heard Viv couldn't make it. 
You hear about Moyes and Tina going at it on his dad's car? Mental. <laughs> Everyone's getting some action at the moment. What's that mean? <laughs> Why don't you ask Viv? You're joking. You and Viv? Whatever. That's bullshit. Hey, don't hate the player. Oh, look at you two. Bunking again. What, have you dropped out or something? Yeah, what are you both doing? Bet you think you're both so cool. No, not really. Could never be as cool as you two. Right, Becky? Shut up, Donna. It's complicated. Yeah, looks it. Come on, Mary. Let's leave these wasters to it. Can you believe those two? Leave it. I've had just about enough of all of this. Uh, we all have, not just you. Oh, shut up. Let's just get some food and go. What are you doing? I... You, you saw that, right? Are you all right? I can't think. Right. Well, if you want to stay and bang on this door... I could have sworn there was... We're going, or what? Oh, yeah. Any other doors you want to knock on on the way? You really didn't see the stranger going to his house? You're actually weirder than I thought. Weren't you going to get some chips or something? Maybe stick your head in the deep fat fryer while you're at it. Funny. It was closed anyway. <laughs> you know what I think? I think you've got a thing for that stranger. What? Oh, shut up. I've seen that little twinkly you get in your eye when you look at him. I bet you wanted to get into his house, look through his dirty laundry, sniff his pants. Oh, you're sick, you know that. This coming from you, the weirdest girl in school. Don't be an asshole your entire life. Ooh, you're hard. You know, for someone who's got a potential assault charge hanging over their head, you're awfully irritating. I'm irritating. You should listen to some of the shit that comes out of your mouth. I literally don't know why I bother hanging out with you. You're just upset because you weren't invited to Moise's house party. Does it look like I care? Oh my god, I can't believe it. He's right where we left him. I don't get it. Who was meant to be guarding him? You were. Wait, that doesn't make sense. You are truly losing it. Let's just think about this for a moment. This is stupid and a complete waste of time. We're guarding a moron who can't even speak and we're worried that he can dob us into the police. I'm out of here. Wait, he can speak. Stare him McStareface, say something. This is embarrassing. You can look after your imaginary friend on your own from now on. Wait, what? I'm bored. And I'm done. Later. Great. Well, piss off then. 
Why didn't you say anything? Oh, so you're not talking to me anymore either? Would you mind doing me a favor? There's something down in the basement of this building that I would like you to take a look at. What? The door over there is open, if you wouldn't mind. You know, you need to work on your soft skills. We'll talk about that later. Oi! You didn't say it was pitch black in here. What's the deal? Nothing down there but some rats. My mistake. Donna, let me ask you a question. Do you still have that photograph you took of me? What? Uh, yeah, it's on my phone. Look, I haven't got time for this. Why? You know why. Mum's ill. I need to be spending time with her and helping Emma out around the house more. You need to be here. No. Come on, what are we doing here? This has gone on long enough. Why don't you just go? Here, I'll untie you. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Why? You gonna bash my head in? <laughs> Whatever. Stay here if you want. Donna, don't pretend you don't want to be here. I know you. I've got to go. Hello? Mum? Anyone about? Donna Adelaide here. Speaking. Miss Adelaide here. It's Longmead Hospital. We need you to come in. What's wrong? It's your mum. I'm afraid it's serious. How soon can you get here? Previously on Last Stop. So, what happens now? I guess we figure out how to fix this. Why don't you just go to the doctor? Fellas, you realise April Fool's Day was months ago. I'm gonna have to think really hard what our next approach is, Jack. How's your heart, John? My heart? I had a mild heart attack a few months back. What's this? I'm cleaned out. How am I gonna pay for this place without any cash? One of us needs to get a job. Why don't you get your old job back, Dad? Well, wish me luck. Remember, it doesn't matter that my CV says you've got no experience. It's not about that at this stage. As long as they like you, you'll be fine. you got this. Trust me, I have interviewed a hundred people before. Don't forget to tuck your shirt in. Own the room. Be the pack alpha. <clears throat> Tournaments are your breath is gross. 
All valuable advice. Thank you very much. Look them in the eye and say, I am Jack Smith. Bring home the bacon. CVs? Pointless. I don't think you can judge a man's character from a piece of paper. You agree? It's all about the one-on-one. -on -one. Man on man. Sure. I'll let you in on a secret. This job, easy. A monkey could do it. I'm after an individual. Someone that could fill my shoes in years to come. And what big shoes they are. You know, the problem with the public sector is that it's full of grey, dead weight. A boy to me eyeballs, mate. A bunch of corpses everywhere. You're looking for someone more like you? Yes, exactly. You a football man, Jackie boy? Of course you are. Come on, who are you? L Liverpool? Top lad. Well, you'll never walk alone around here, mate. Although, don't expect to get much action around here. We are lacking some serious talent. But you know what they say, don't shit on your own doorstep. Yeah, and don't piss into the wind. I've got a bunch of other applicants to see today, but I'm going to go ahead and cancel them. When can you start? Get in! You were right, Jack. Clive didn't even look at my CV. What can I say? I got it. Woo-woo! Pizza on Dad! Who wants stuffed crust? I think I'll have an early night. Congrats, etc. What's up with Jack? Who knows? Are you in the mood for spicy beef? Or barbecue chicken? Yes, I'm late. Jack's still asleep in the living room, so I couldn't watch TV this morning. When I went in there, he was snoring, just like you used to. You know, really loudly. I guess the snoring must have stayed in your old body. I wonder what else Jack has that used to be yours. Maybe he has your handwriting. Do you remember when Mrs Adelecki didn't believe that you signed my homework diary because she didn't think that that was written by an adult? It's going to be funny the next time we have parents' evening. Maybe I can say I have two dads. If Jack is going to sleep in the living room forever, maybe we should get one of those pull-out sofa beds. Actually, Jack can have my room. I'll sleep in the sofa. That way I can watch TV all the time. Forgot something? Phone. I'm ringing it now. Okay. Easy does it. What's she doing? Morning. I just needed my phone. <sighs> Race you. Dad! Too slow. I know about your predicament. Come see me, the Vape Lord.
Alright. So I got a strange note through my door from someone called the Vape Lord? Is that you? Hello, yes, that was me. Which one am I talking to? You haven't swapped into someone else, have you? Uh, no. Have you got something to do with all this? I heard you and that other fellow on that podcast, you know, behind the curtain. Good show, that. Bit too many ads, but who am I to complain? Anyway, Frank has been searching everywhere for you. Who's Frank? What are you on about? You know, Frank, the guy that cursed you on the tube platform a couple of weeks ago. He's my brother. A curse? He did this! Where is he? Switch us back! Firstly, let me say how sorry he was. Commuter rage. You know how it is. He was actually on his way out of here when you bumped into him. Bit of a whinger. Didn't much like Britain in the end, so he headed back to the old country. It's such a shame he left so soon. Fine. Look, just tell me where he is, and I'll book a flight and meet him. But to be honest, mate, I was kind of hoping you'd take some e-liquid as compensation, or that'd be the end of it. Are you having a laugh? I want this sorted! If you really want to see him, I guess I've got no choice. This is going to break the bank. All right, listen, I'm going to need a little bit of time to prepare. Write your number down and I'll give you a buzz. Don't make a habit of being late like this. Sorry, you're right. I'll step it up. So how are you finding mucking in with us? Wasn't it a bit low to steal John's job? He was happy for me to take it over some idiot that Clive might have hired. I hope he's doing okay. I felt so upset for him when he got let go. He worked so hard here just to be discarded like that. Yeah, I saw him the other day, actually. He, he seemed chipper. Better than ever. I bet. Well, get a move on, Mr Ambitious. Don't want to keep your mate Clive waiting. I'd better get inside. Perhaps we got off on the wrong foot. Why don't we grab a drink sometime? You know, get acquainted. Are you asking me out? What? No, no, nothing like that. Just as friends. Nah, you're good. Think we might need to do another one of our performance reviews. Do we have to talk about this now? Ooh, a bit defensive. We'll have to talk about how we can manage that temporary... Jackie boy, how's my star player doing? I was just telling this delectable beauty she's going to have to up her game if she wants to keep pace with a trailblazer like you. Can I go to my desk, please? You get those emails, the Photoshop ones of you-know-who. Ha <laughs> ha! Have you been sharing doctored photos of me? As it happens, I did. And classics, I'm sure you'll agree. Oh, they're definitely memorable. I don't imagine HR will be forgetting them any time soon. I figured they'd want to be another joke too. You sly goose. Betrayed by your own wingman, Clive. Oh, that's got to hurt. You're just having me on, right, Jack? Just to wind up? Whatever it is, it made me laugh. A classic, you could say. Piss. Hello, welcome to Technical Support. To help us with your query, in your own words, please describe your problem. <sighs> Here we go. These things never understand me. Oh, John never liked those things either. We're sorry to hear you're having difficulties. We'll transfer you to an operator. You are number 
one in the queue. I guess it's your lucky day. Hey, Shaz. Hey. I'm heading home. Walk to the station? That stunt you pulled on Clive was great. You should have said you were going to stitch him up like that. I feel it's the sort of thing John always wanted to do, but couldn't. He's got it in him. He just likes to play it careful. Same time tomorrow. Promise I won't be late again. You're all right, you know. I can see that Smith family resemblance. Tell John that I miss him, okay? Why don't you like us anymore, Jack? I thought we were friends. Dad, Jack's leaving us. Yeah, all right, Molly. Now that you're sorted with your job and everything, I figured this would be a good time for me to move on. You know, try and get my life back on track. He's moving up north. I applied for a uni course in Hull. Computer science. I've got the loans sorted and everything. It starts in September. Where's all this come from? I thought we were doing well. This is a decision we need to make together. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure I can let you leave. What about Molly? Have you thought of that? Yeah, what about me? You can't let me. There's more to me than these four walls. We love you, Jack. Please don't leave us. We have to face the facts here. We aren't ever going to be the same again. You realise I've got a mum and dad, right? I've got mates. I, I need to figure out how to explain this to them. You're wrong. Listen, I, I, I spoke to this guy. He says he can help us. He calls himself the Vape Lord or something. John, mate, listen to yourself. You're losing it. I get the whole parent thing. I understand that you're worried. But no offence, you lucked out on this deal. You've got to be a young man again. But I've lost out on 20 years. I've lucked out. You're just a kid in a fancy apartment pretending to be an adult. I'm trying to raise a family here. Eh? How selfish can you be? Well, you're just a plastic duffer who's wasted his life and screwed up mine. <laughs> Jesus, and you could try going to the gym occasionally. Dad, you're hurting him. Hey, just, just settle down. Something's wrong. Dad, do something. Help me. Jack. Previously on Last Stop. You've just had your second exam. How'd it go? My daughter isn't a blackmailer. Let me just have a chat with her. Stay away from my daughter. I don't know how many times I can keep putting up with the same excuses. It's like you don't care. Wanker! What the hell is wrong with you? Felix, please. I'm just so scared. I just need to talk to you. <sighs> Prick. How 
come you're taking me to school today? And not Dad? Oh, well, I just thought it'd be nice for a change. Spend some time with you. Dad's okay, though. Yeah, Dad's fine. Why all the concern? Oh, I don't know. You're right there. You seem a bit quiet. Yeah. You sure? I don't know. Okay, let's have it. What's on your mind? Are you leaving Dad? What? Where did that come from? No, I'm not leaving Dad. I heard you both arguing last night and throwing things at each other. Is that why you're taking me to school today and not Dad? Because you're making him leave? No, Dad's not going anywhere. Does that mean you're leaving instead? No! Look, I'm sorry that you heard that last night, but you don't need to worry. Everything's fine. All right. Listen, Dylan, I've got to run. I've got an appointment before work. You're not ill, are you? No, nothing like that. Just catching up with an old friend. You stalking me now? Obviously you're not keen on me. I can live with that. Dad told me what you accused me of. Pathetic. So it wasn't you? You're a mother. And you've got what, a little boy? Stay away from my dad. He doesn't need you. Okay, forget about that. That's done. Now, it's very important that I hear that you admit that you sent that note. I can't believe you. Leave me alone. I don't want things to get any more ugly than they already are now. Did you send the note? Are you threatening me? I didn't send the damn note. You need to get your act together. Sort your life out and leave us alone. Dad? Dad, are you all right? Huh? Oh, it's you. What the hell's happened here? The door. Happened last week. Had a break in. Punk kids, no doubt. You'd have noticed if you bothered to visit. I'm away for one week and I come back to this? Why haven't you fixed the front door? No need to lock the doors in this neighborhood. Dad, I'm not even going to respond to that. What got stolen? Have you filed a police report? Just my medicine, and absolutely not. Don't want the fuzz sniffing around here. Your heart medicine? My brain medicine. You know, the, the special pills from Spider. I thought I told you to throw them away. Ah! Let's get your place tidied up. Nini.
What is it that they say? Tidy house, tidy mind? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with my mind, Nini. Oh, uh, that reminds me. I better call Spider and get some more of those pills. I can't believe you. Are you still in contact with Spider? Of course. He was around here the other week. Good boy, that Spider. Plays it tough, but he's, uh, he's fighting the good fight. I told him my daughter's a fascist, always meddling in my business. You told Spider about me? Did you get in contact with him in the end? Uh, you would benefit from the extra perspective. Right. Listen, Dad, I've got to go. Make sure you sort that door out. Please. It's important. Yes, yes, child. Spider. Oi, Spider. You piece of shit. You vandalised my dad's place. Look who it is. Come to return my driving licence? Or are you after my library card this time? You crossed a line. This isn't going to end well for you. Ooh, harsh words. Tell you what, give me back my licence and we'll forget the whole thing. And that blackmail note was obviously you as well, wasn't it? Such an idiot. I probably wouldn't have made the connection if you hadn't sent that. Yep, yep, yep. Wait, what note? I'm taking you to the police. They can deal with you. What did you mean about a note? I didn't write any note. We're going to the station. Are you going to go down with some dignity or kicking and screaming? This is a setup. You're trying to pin something on me. You've got a gun. Came prepared this time, didn't I? Are you sure you know what you're doing with that? I know I'm a screw up. I bust into your dad's place. Fair cop, you got me. But I'm not taking the fall for any made up notes or anything. Okay, you win. We'll just go our separate ways and that will be that. Okay? Just trying to make something of myself. I'm trying to get my fair share. But someone's always there to kick the legs out from under you. I'm just trying to do my best, you feel me? I feel you. You don't know nothing. I had it all laid out. I had a plan. Every 
everyone's got a plan. You do whatever your superiors tell you to do, and things still go off the rails. You what? The amount I sacrificed for this. All that stupid shit other people care about. But it's still not enough to get what you want. And what do I see for my efforts? A blackmail note on my doorstep. If you're being blackmailed, I ain't the one doing the blackmailing. I'm sorry, I jumped to the wrong conclusion. I'm sorry I broke into your dad's place. That, that was low. Yeah, it was. But I forgive you. Let's just leave each other well alone. You can have your license back. I'm all for that. You're a crazy woman. Put the gun down, drop it now. Amy? What is this? You were playing me. Back away, Mina. I've got this. What the hell are you doing here, Amy? You were just keeping me talking until backup arrived. Drop the weapon immediately. I won't ask again. Have you been following me? I'm not going to go to prison for something I didn't do. Amy, you don't need to do this. I have it under control. Drop the gun this instant. Bitch, you drop the gun. I said drop it. You drop it. Drop the gun. Both of you, calm the hell down. Jesus, that's a lot of blood. Uh, oh God, it's bad, isn't it? We need to get you to a hospital. <laughs> what about the other guy? Did I get him? I don't know. He isn't moving. What are you doing here, Amy? Oh, it's so bad. Okay, I'm going to call for help. Wait a minute. Makes sense. You're the one who sent me that note. I need to go to hospital. It was you all along. You've been spying on me. What else have you got on me? I'm dying, Mina. I want everything you've got on me. Please. <laughs> Give me the key to your flat, and I'll call an ambulance. <laughs> 